Hi, it's John Cronshaw here with my author diary for the week ending April the 9th, 2023. I've had this week off pretty much. Um, it's the Easter holidays, so my son is at home. Um, so yeah, just been doing dad things really. Have done a little bit of writing, so I've been doing stuff for the orphan boy, what is it, orphan farm boy of destiny story. So this is basically, I'm serialising it as um, chapters that go out to my newsletter every week. So I've got the first, what, three or four of those ready now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to continue working on those over the Easter break because, you know, it's low stakes stuff. Um, and I'm just enjoying writing the story. Yeah, so because I've already got a first draft of it, it's just now a case of rewriting, polishing and all that good stuff. Um what else? So in terms of reading, I am currently reading a book called Full Moon by Jim Butcher, second book in his Dresden Files series. Really enjoyed reading the first one a while ago, so I am dipping back into that. And yeah, it's good. It's very good. Uh, very well written. I think the uh yeah, I don't usually read urban fantasy stuff, but yeah, this is this is ticking a lot of boxes for me. Um I think the character's really good in it. So definitely recommend that. If, you know, you prefer your fantasy maybe a bit more in the real world. Um, also, I watched WrestleMania this week. So this is something that I seem to have done for many, many years. And I would say, because what they do now with WrestleMania is it used to be a one-day event. Now it's a two-day event. I would say that if you took the first day and just had that as the event, it would probably be one of the best WrestleManias that there's been. With the second night, I don't think it was as strong I felt like, I don't know, it, it felt a bit more like it was padding. And the main event, I mean, you know, people tell stories how they want to tell stories, but I felt like the way that the story, the Cody Road story had been paced, the way that had fell into the company's lap, and then the way that arced, they basically went with the wrong ending. So whatever, you know, <laughs> it's neither here nor there, and it's, you know, it's just entertainment. But as a storyteller... I felt like they'd paced it perfectly for him to win the championship, and he didn't. The first night, however, the what was it, the tag team match? Yeah, that was brilliant. The Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, like that is how you do a wrestling storyline. That is how you arc it. That is how you peak it perfectly. So yeah, brilliant. Uh, so next week then, still on the Easter break. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be carrying on with the Orphan Farm Boy of Destiny story. And I've also, it's the end of Lent, so I'm going to be able to have baked things again. So things like bread, cakes. So next time you see me, assume that I'll be big and bloated and I'll just stuff my face with loads of cakes and stuff. Oh, also, sorry, I forgot to mention, last week I left you with a bit of a cliffhanger because I went for my eye hospital appointment about cataracts. So I do have cataracts, but at the moment it's just at such a level where... It's like if you're balancing the risks, there's no point in actually doing surgery because um, the risks kind of outweigh the benefits. So it's going to be one of those things where I need to go back in a year. And it was, you know, I don't like the experience of going to the eye hospital, especially when I dilate my pupils. And, you know, what vision I have got is just destroyed for, you know, three or four hours. Um, but, yeah, it was it was fine. Um, I'm glad that I'm not having to have surgery because, I don't know, I was kind of dreading that really, I think. So, yeah, uh, I don't know, mixed bag of news, I suppose. So, until next time, cheerio.